everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I match my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I match my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into a new show, y'all. This is called Brooklyn Nine Nine. This is season one, episode one. I don't know anything about the show. I don't even think I ever heard the show. When did the show come out? I think the only ha r way I heard of the show was because of YouTube. I saw people did reactions for it, but besides that, I have absolutely no idea what it's about. Um, this came out in 2013. Where was I? I think I'm very new to New York City. There's so many shows that like came out around this time that I'd never seen because I was just so freshly into New York City. And I think that's why I just did not watch TV. I was always out. Um, but we're gonna get into Brooklyn 999. Or <laughs> I gave three nines. Brooklyn 99. Um, it seems like each episode is 21 minutes long. What I'm going to do is the first episode I'm just gonna watch by itself dip my toes into it, feel the, feel the water, um, and then moving on, possibly I might double up the show, the episodes. So it would be a regular like 40 minute, 40 minute uh, reaction that I would have to edit down instead of a 21 minute, is this 21 minutes? About 22 minute long episode, which will leave me about, after I edit it, probably like 11 minutes. <laughs> I hope it's worthy. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this, but there's only one way we will be able to continue on to the show is if you guys want me to. So please hit the like button, share, and don't forget to comment, y'all. You want to see a sinful reaction? Links is down below. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Brooklyn Nine-Nine and find out exactly what the show has got to give. This job is eating me alive. Is it? I can't breathe anymore. I'm gonna be I will. Good news for all you murder fans. Someone decided to shoot and kill luxury food importer Henry Morgenthau. During her interview, I deduced using expert detective work that she had something super gross on her chin. It's just old person gunk. You know how old people always have that gunk on them? Oldie gunk. Focus on the murder and not the old person gunk. Crime techs are at the scene now. Wait, tell us about the new captain. Captain Hull will be here soon. He'll want to introduce himself. You know anyone but you. I've been watching old movies. Cool. Where would I find a place that shows old movies? Search for the phrase, I want to buy two movie tickets for a girl who doesn't like me. <laughs> hey, you heard anything about the new captain? Uh, no. I just wish Captain McGinley never left. He was the best. I liked him because he let you do anything you wanted. What the hell's going on around here? Fire extinguisher roller chair derby? Okay. <laughs> If I'm ever gonna make captain, I need a good mentor. I need my rabbi. This new guy's gonna be another washed up pencil pusher who's only concerned with following every rule. Robot captain, engage. Is that what you think? Hey! <laughs> to meet you. No, don't let me interrupt. You were describing what kind of person I'm gonna be. I'd like you to finish. Or I could recap very quickly, sure. Um, joke about being a washed up pencil pusher. Now do the robot voice. You implied I'm a rule following robot. I wanna hear it again. Meet more. Sir. That's a terrible robot voice. Yep. 
<laughs> the next time I see you, I'd like you to be wearing a necktie. The last captain didn't care if we wore ties. Well, your new captain does. I'm your new commanding officer, Captain Ray Holt. Speech! That was my speech. Does anyone get a little bit of a gay vibe? No. You were significantly fatter, sir. They called me Terry Titties. I never liked that nickname. Though, to be fair, it was accurate. What's it say here about you? <laughs> a year ago, my wife and I...
two best friends. Does he always stalk as much? I just tune it out. Captain, Terry told me you got the Disco Strangler. With all due respect, sir, why did it take you so long to get your first command? Because I'm gay. <laughs> uh. I'm surprised you didn't know. I don't try to hide it. Ah. Did anyone else get a little bit of a gay vibe? Manscaping. Here, I feel bad that you spent all that money on the movie tickets. Well, this is awkward. It's not awkward. I like your company. The NYPD was not ready for an openly gay detective. But then the old guard died. But they put me in a public affairs unit. I was a good soldier. But all I ever really wanted was my own command. Mm. Now I finally got it. And I'm not going to screw it up. Captain, I'm sorry. I, I feel like a jackass. But on the flip side, there's Ratko. Humility over. I'm amazing. Let's take 3,000 identical blue doors. Looks like we all got door duty. You look great. Oh. Racco. I'm going. Actually, you're not going anywhere. Detectives Boyle. And Diaz. Right there is Detective Santiago. Captain Holt. Point is, my team has you surrounded. I just figured it out. Maybe now's not the best time, Detective. It's a uniform. It's important to you because you were kept off the team for so long, and now you're the coach. Boom! Nailed it! Yes, you did. Now just arrest Radko. Hands on your back! Hands on your back! That's how we do it in the 99, sir. The Catch nine bad guys and look good doing it. What's wrong with you? Never took off the speedo. Big mistake. It is inside me. Great work. <laughs> well, well. So uh, that was actually really funny. It got funnier as the episode went on and on and on, and we got more into the characters and what the characters were about. And they did it in a humorous way. Plus, they did a little crime here, crime there, and then wrapping it all up with everybody understanding each other and what everybody was supposed to do and where everybody's position is in this team. I really did enjoy it. I have to say, these type of shows never really resonated big with me when I was younger. Um, even now, I, like I said it many times, I generally always watched like a fantasy type genre, comedy, comedy shows just really didn't do it for me unless it was like a sitcom like Friends. The Golden Girls, which I'm now watching on the show, on this platform, um, and stuff like that. But besides, like things like this, or Family Guy, or the is it the '60s show or '90s show, whatever that show is called, those are all my brothers. I bet you, money, my brother probably watched this show. These, this is my brother's type of humor, but this is actually quite funny. Um, I like the twist and the mangle. Uh, with comedy with, and law enforcement. I actually used to work with law enforcement for two na for a while. Um, so it's pretty cool to see this. It, it's actually quite hysterical that it's in Brooklyn. I never did anything in Brooklyn before, but I do know Brooklyn is rough and tough. And I also know Brooklyn precincts are, um, I don't want to say all, I'll just say the ones I know of are just not that great. Um, but it would be cool if there were stuff like this happening. And the precincts in Manhattan, New York City uh, are also nothing like this. But it is a fun spin on what could potentially be something like this. So once again, I really do like everything. And I have to say the main uh, Perta, Perta, the main detective, I actually think he's super cute. Like I was, I was actually in my head going, yeah, yeah, I think I have a crush on this guy. Yeah. I think I do. And then when he was the manscaping, by the way, us finding out that the captain was gay and then them showing the picture on the wall and then the lady who was saying, oh, it's you know, gay vibes. And then him saying, manscaping. That had to be one of the funniest things of this episode by far. I don't, that really gathered me all the way together. Uh, <laughs> that's hysterical. But anyways, loved this episode. Let me know, guys, if you want me to continue or, or are we watching one episode and that's it. You guys let me know. And if we do continue, most likely I'll probably do two episodes and combine them because this is a very short, short show. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. Check out all my other reactions while you are here. And until next time, I'm off this. You gotta choose a side. You gotta get, you gotta do what's right. I ain't gonna call to be hanging around nobody.
Everybody trying to figure out if they could or evil. I'm fighting the crime, steady your lives. One at a time, I'm killing the rhymes. I do it for the people. I'll be the fucker running through the six with a bag full of 